Hello my dear students, so once again welcome to my economics class. As we know all in the previous lectures we have completed some basic and very important topics from the first chapter. Those are a simple economy, the central problems of an economy and the organization of economical activities. And now we are going to take the fourth and fifth points. Those are positive and normative economics and micro economics and macro economics yes right students now let's take the fourth and most important topic from this chapter that is positive economics and normative economics okay now the first one is positive economics now let's see the meaning of positive economics yes positive economics is the branch of economics yes positive economics is what here the branch of economics and under this we study what the different problems arising out of scarce resources okay means under the positive economics we will study the different economical problems arising out of limited resources yes what we study under the positive economics we study the different problems arising out of scarce resources and it considers how the economy will performs the basic function of what to produce how to produce and for whom to produce okay it considers what here how the economy will performs the basic functions of what to produce how to produce and for whom to produce now let's see the second point it studies what was and what is under the given set of circumstances means it studies what was and what is under the given set of circumstances and it is descriptive in nature positive economics is what here descriptive in nature now let's say take the second branch of economics that is normative economics now see the meaning of normative economics now normative economics is also one branch of economics normative economics is also one branch of economics and under this we try to find out the solutions to the economical problems Yes, right students, under normative economics, we tries to find out the solutions to the economical problems. Yes, and what about the positive economics? There we study the problems arising out of scarce resources. There we study the problems which are arising out of the scarce resources. And normative economics try to find out the solutions to those problems tries to find out the solutions to the economical problems yes understood the meaning of positive economics and normative economics then what is positive economics it it studies what the economical problems arising out of scarce resources okay it studies what the economical problems arising out of scarce resources and then what about the normative economics it tries to find out the solutions to the economical problems it tries to find out the solutions to the economical problems now next point is it studies what should be done and what should not be done okay it studies what here what should be done and what should not be done and what is good or bad for the human beings what is good or bad for the human being and what about the positive economics what that will study here that will study what was and what is under the given set of circumstances means the positive economics studies about the past and the present and the normative economics will study about the future yes then normative economics is prescriptive in nature normative economics is prescriptive in nature and positive economics is descriptive in nature okay understood about now the positive economics and the normative economics now let's see the difference between positive and normative economics now see this table this table shows the difference between positive economics and normative economics the first column shows you the basis basis of what here the comparison and the second column is the positive economics and the third column is that is normative economics now the first difference is it is a branch of economics based on data and facts okay positive economics is a branch of economics based on data and facts and normative economics is a branch of economics based on values opinions and judgments okay the normative economics is also one branch of economics but based on what the values opinions and 
judgments now let's see the nature of positive economics and normative economics positive economics is descriptive in nature and normative economics is prescriptive in nature and now it studies about what what actually is normative economics studies of what here what actually is and positive economics studies what ought to be what ought to be now the testing of the statement under the positive economics by using what here the scientific methods means the statements can be tested using the scientific methods under which method here the positive economics and under the normative economics the statements cannot be tested the normative economic state statements cannot be tested now the economical issues it clearly describes the economical issues means the positive economics studies means clearly studies the economical issues or economical problems and the normative economics it will provide the solutions for the economical problems means the normative economics will provides what the solutions to the economical issues or economical problems this is all about what here the difference between positive economics and the normative economics understood no very clearly yes now let's take the fifth and most important topic from the from the first chapter that is microeconomics and macroeconomics yes understood no here already i have discussed the meaning of microeconomics and macroeconomics in the first lecture only yes now let's see the microeconomics now what is the first point which are covered in the microeconomics here studying the small part of economics is called what here microeconomics studying the small part of economics is called microeconomics and it deals with the small units of an economy such as individual consumer producer or firm wage income etc okay as i have told you already microeconomics deals only with the individual things microeconomics deals with only the individuals just like individual consumer producer or firm wage income etc yes this method is also called as slicing method means microeconomics is also called as what here the slicing method now let's take the macroeconomics studying the large part of economics is called macroeconomics okay that one i have already discussed studying the large part of economics is called what here macro economics and it deals with the aggregates of an economy okay microeconomics deals with the individuals and macroeconomics deals with the aggregates yes now listen here it deals with the aggregates of an economy such as the national income aggregate investment aggregate consumption aggregate savings aggregate supply and aggregate demand etc yes it will considers only the aggregates not the individuals yes now see here it is also called as income analysis means a macroeconomics is also called as what here the income analysis now let's see some important difference between micro and macro economics okay and these are very important for your examinations now this table shows you the difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics the first column shows, shows you what here the basis of differences and the second column is about microeconomics and third column is macroeconomics now let's see the meaning of microeconomics here studying the small part of economics is called what here microeconomics and the studying the large part of economics is called macroeconomics this is the first and most important difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics then let's see the second most important difference that is microeconomics deals with the small units yes microeconomic deals with what here the small units then what about the macroeconomics macroeconomics deals with the large units macroeconomics deals with the large units then the scope of microeconomics means it deals with the individual consumer demand supply production etc okay means the microeconomic deals only with the individual units like individual consumer individual demand individual supply individual production etc 
then what about the macroeconomics it deals with the national income aggregate demand aggregate supply aggregate employment etc okay means the microeconomics deals with the individuals and macroeconomics deals with the aggregates now the next difference is microeconomics is applied to the internal issues microeconomics is applied to what here the internal issues and macroeconomics are applied for the external issues of the business yes now the best example for the micro and macroeconomics are here in microeconomics we examine the trees not the forest in microeconomics we examine the trees not the forest and under the macroeconomics we examine the forest not the tree we examine what here the forest not the tree okay this is the whole picture shows shows you what here the difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics by this your first chapter is completed yes first chapter of the first part that is introduction chapter is completed and in the next class we will start the second chapter that is very important chapter from your examination yes thank you